Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 2. It's the last episode where we cleared out San Mona and did a little uh, boxing for the amusement of our newfound friend, the Kingpin. We have made it up to just outside of the city of Chesina. And a couple of things have happened in between the last episode and this one. Uh, we got counterattacked again in Drassen for like the nine millionth time. Uh, went ahead and got that out. But our militia are getting a little low there. Uh, we're down to 13 guys in that sector. Uh, so I think this might be a good time. Yeah, they've both reached at least 20 leadership. We can go ahead and trade them from practicing leadership to actually training militia. Uh, it'll cost us a little bit of cash, but they'll be able to uh, sort of shore up our defenses there for a while. Uh, we also did purchase some additional supplies due for delivery in Drassen uh, and renewed the contracts of Grizzly, Bull, and Fox. Now we're primed and ready to just go ahead and push into the city, so I think that's what I'm going to do here. Let's see, that selected, that selected, and it's about 2 o'clock in the morning now. It should it. take us roughly 90 minutes to travel there, uh, so we should show up 3.30 in the morning, I'm expecting the guards in Shitsina to be fairly tired. Things should go okay for us. We got us. a confirmed enemy presence. All right. 11 enemies to our six mercs. That should be fine. And this is the mine sector, so uh, we will get some additional income just from taking this one. And we're coming in from here. Largely blocked off due to terrain. We've got to come in kind of from the uh, southeast corner. Yes. Yes. Okay, and have these guys all crouch and what is it? Adult backpacks dropped. Nice. Okay. And Understood. just kind of make everybody move in a giant clump at first until we get until we get where? I think I want to get maybe like right up to about gotcha. here and then we'll take some looks at uh... Alright. Oh. We're on. Never mind. We'll take. I was gonna say we'll take a look at the the light being uh, cast by that. Uh, so Grizzly has spotted You've somebody. Got my ear. Ira's behind him. Yes. To meet you behind her. Okay. Standing by. Well, uh, Grizzly, we really need you to make these shots count. Uh. Don't have an awful lot of backup behind you. Uh. Man, not doing the kind of damage I would uh. hope for here. And that's gonna be it. Okay. You got my well, ear. Well. Let's have Ira stand, rush forward a couple of steps, maybe a couple more. She's still not seeing him. She's got a pretty decent chance to hit, though. Okay. Just needed to, like, turn in his direction a little bit more. Flippin' gun doesn't uh, want to work! Don't do that. I really, really could use that uh, supply order showing up anytime soon. Well, she'll just drop down. Yes. Okay. This is really going to be like the last city that I ever have to take with the uh, tactics of just pistol on pistol combat. Kind of like shooting spitwads at one another. Uh, as Standing after on. Shitsina, uh, we're getting so some of the supplies that were purchased largely were just the uh, kits, um, med kits, repair kits. But the biggest things, I feel like, are going to be... Yeah, that's good. One, uh, we ended up grabbing uh, about half a dozen night vision goggles uh, that were available. That's going to be very helpful. It's going to make these types of nighttime assaults go much more in our favor. And then uh, we up? also picked up a couple of shotguns and some more buckshot ammo for them and i think that will come in very handy for outfitting our squad uh, the way that the the weapons work is uh, the game basically relies on a tech level that you accumulate points in as you accomplish goals in the game and then when your tech level breaches certain thresholds uh, you gain access to kind of like the next tier of equipment starting to appear in the game, both in the shops as well What's as uh, on enemies. And then as they're appearing on enemies, they're also eligible uh, to be yes. dropped by them. 
And so, this first part of the game is... Oh, I have no idea why I moved her up. She has a jammed pistol. That's probably not going to do her too by. much good. Uh, so, this first part of the game is Standing largely by. filled with... Only pistols, and not even particularly great pistols. Uh, soon we'll move on from this into like some sh submachine guns, a couple of long rifles and lever action rifles, battle rifles, you know, like World War One era Nobody get careless. Uh, models by. of rifle, that kind of stuff. And then yes. uh, eventually we'll start getting more and more into the assault rifle, eventually machine guns, yes, sniper rifles, a suspicious sound. all of that kind we of have stuff some unlocks. Inconveniences to dispose of. And we're right now just at kind of the edge of pistol territory. You know, we do have, like this guy, considering it's a long weapon, uh, most likely it's a submachine gun being represented by that model, similar to the way uh, Grizzly is carrying right. his. You called? So there are, of course, characters already with other things, but they're just like the exception instead of the rule. Uh, so Shh. Noise. Eventually we're going to get into a spot where pistols start serving Boom. the purpose that pistols serve in an actual military, you know, kind of a, yeah. a backup weapon, something to use when you run out of ammo and need to take a quick shot, uh, or when something pops up a little bit too close to deal with, with like the machine gun that you're carrying, that kind of thing. And uh, that's something I am definitely looking you forward called? to. The uh, action in the first part of the game, where it's just a lot of this sort of pistol on pistol combat, <sighs> is a little simplistic as, you know, this is our Sweet engagement dreams. range right here. Um, Standing by. I've tried to spare you guys. Target in sight. Uh -oh. Okay, that was lucky. Oh, that was less lucky. Standing by. Okay, I've tried to spare you guys, you know, having to watch uh, a lot of the random fights that happen. Me encountering units along the. Uh, there we go. Along, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop down. Uh, you along the roads, whenever we're, you know, moving or. The counterattacks that have happened to some of the cities, just because of how repetitive it would get. Standing and by. so that also means you have been spared seeing yes. any of the daylight fights with pistol on pistol action. What's up? Because if nighttime battles are bad, man, fights in the daytime when all you have is pistols, uh, it means that the engagement range is still just as short. But now you can spot people Standing from, like, by. three times the distance. And when you do, you end up in these fights where no one can hit anything. And you just end up spraying ammunition at each other, hoping to get lucky. Kind of like that. Alright, that did get him to go down. That's something, at least. Hopefully he doesn't have enough AP Hell. to be super Ooh, deadly. Alright, probably just going to get off this one shot on the interrupt, so we want to make it count, and we did. Lovely. And he missed his return fire. Awesome. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. There we go. Not time, I guess. Yeah, I guess. You and me both, Dimitri. Alright, we do hear some guys coming around from yes. here. Hmm. That could be him, uh, but it also could be something else. Standing by. All right. What's up? I want to keep covering the flank up here with someone. Yes. So I think I'm going to leave Bull to that for right now. Dimitri might be able to get a shot that ends him. Awesome. Goodbye. One nice thing about the Desert Eagle, Standing if it by. hits, it doesn't have to hit very often. All right. It's got low ammo capacity. And a very high AP cost, uh, probably to sort of represent the recoil associated, and not to mention bringing a, uh, such a heavy by. pistol to bear. But when it connects, those 357 yeah. rounds do a ton of damage. Oh, come on. I know there's another guy, like I've lost sight of him in the shrubbage. The shrubbage? The, the, the shrubbage? Yeah. Uh, right over here. 
But uh, I still know he's there, and unfortunately, I'm out of AP for that you guy. Okay. Fooey. Yep. Knew there was someone else over here. All right. Let Fox deal with this. And then we may put uh, Ira on trying to unjam her gun duty. Hmm. What's up? I wonder if it would be worthwhile to bring Bull a little bit closer here. Yeah, and we now get visual on this and therefore an update on what has happened to it. And we see that it has... Uh, oh, yeah, he even cocked his shotgun. We see that uh, the door has been opened up there. Okay. You so got Ira, my ear. let's pull you to like here-ish. We face this way, crouch down, and then we're just gonna try to repeatedly fire. Nice until it unjams. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought. All right, and just a couple of blind shots out into the darkness. Collateral damage apparently is not our highest priority. All right, incoming round. Missed both times. Lovely. Oh, he gets a third oh, shot. Uh, oh. And the third time was the charm, unfortunately. Uh, and we're not the only ones with a uh, fully a automatic weapon there. That's most likely a machine pistol, uh, considering how small it is. Um, like a micro Uzi or something. Oh, and Dimitri appears to be cowering with his hands above his head, as is Grizzly. So we can see uh, Grizzly, especially, he's at... You got my ear! Uh, he's at the fire. point he's not going to be able to return fire yes. at all. Okay, let's get Dimitri up. Face this way. Maybe come forward a little bit. Okay, we can spot him. Let's take well-aimed shot. Mm, right past him. There we go. That is something. What's up? Bear can't see any of these guys yet. Oh, but somebody can see him. Thankfully, that went right over his head. Uh, that one came in a little bit lower, though. What's up? All right. Well, he does have enough to return fire, which is good. Barely clipped him, but all those buckshot rounds scared him a little bit. Okay. You called? Got four of them in sight right now. All right. If I could quickly end this, I would like to very much secure our flank. And if we could just get a little bit lucky. And we did. Awesome. Beauty. All right. You got my ear. That is good. Get Ira up here just a tad bit more. There we go. Okay, didn't expect much from Standing that. By. Not the worst thing in the world. Now, Coyote here, or oh. myself, um, does have Gunslinger. So, not all pistol shots are created <sighs> equal, basically. His accuracy is going to be right. far more than most of our characters at this kind of range. <sighs> and he can pop both of those guys in a single turn. Awesome. Uh, other than that... Yeah, we might as well. No oh. more ammo. <laughs> Straight into the dirt, and we emptied the magazine. Okay. Uh, probably don't have enough to reload. And... Oh, I do have enough to reload. But I don't have an awful lot of bullets left. Okay. Now, this is a guy who had buckshot fired at him last Standing turn. By. So he's not super keen... Yes? ...on returning fire. I'd rather not waste another round of buckshot at him, though if I can avoid it. Grizzly still suppressed from his last turn. Uh, so it really came down to Dimitri to be able to get that one done. Unfortunately, he didn't. Let's see if maybe a step or two forward. I can spot this guy. Take one shot. Oh, and miss. Okay. I was hoping to take one and then Crouch back down. Unfortunately, that didn't work out very well. You got my ear. All right. How about you, Ira? Let's have her crouch first. Okay. 
Uh, not the greatest amount of damage, but she you call? hit him. I have Fox inch up again by. to keep an eye on our What's flank. Up? And I guess why bother having the ammo if you're not going to use it? Man, just barely clipped him again. But hopefully enough to keep him a little bit scared. Oh, not scared enough though. Was he the one with the machine pistol, or we fought two of, of them? Is that the best you can do? What's please, up? Please don't taunt him, Bull. It it might not be the yes? best he can do. He might end up murderizing you with that fully automatic weapon. Uh, nice. No bullets. All right. Standing Good by. job, Dimitri. Out of ammo, but oh, what was that? Crouch. Thank you. I'm gonna have him take one step up, and then. Lovely. Cool. All right, we've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down. There should just be three guys left in this sector. Uh, anyone have first aid? Are we you all call? med kits now? Nope, first aid kit. Let's go ahead. We'll grab Fox. I'm gonna have her actually patch herself up for a second. Uh oh. You called. We did Standing by. hear something. Let's have him run over. Face this way. Crouch. Uh, actually, yeah. You got my ear. One echo prone. Um. Standing by. Hey, Grizzly over here as well, mostly, so that we make patching everybody up a little bit simpler. You call. And we could get her to stand right there. Awesome. Okay. What's up? Reposition everybody. As there should only be three opponents left. And yes, I don't usually have them all like run into me. Uh, a lot of times there will be one or two that tend to stay with whatever their post was. So I'm hoping at most this is three guys, right? Yes. Some of them got lucky. If there's Probably one down here and by, one I up bet. there, or it was the same guy, you called. I don't think it was the same guy. Just quickly get these guys all patched up, and then we'll start inching our way forward. Okay, great. What's up? Bull's only got one shot of this stuff left, so let's try to make it count. Standing by. Not just spray buckshot off into we the distance. We have some inconveniences to dispose Standing of. By. Well, I didn't quite expect to run into him just yet, but that's fine. Have Grizzly come up to here, drop down, and then pop off one shot. <sighs> not bad, not bad. Standing by. And to finish him. Nice. Target dispatched. Alright. Dimitri, yes? you need to reload, don't you? Yes, you do. Unfortunately, that mag was not full. So Dimitri probably has like two or three rounds. Lots of our characters actually are fairly low on ammunition at this point. Hopefully we've got enough to... Yes? can just take this Standing sector, by. train up a few militia to take the next. I think we should be sitting pretty from all that. Once we can get Chitsina taken care of, it'll just be a What's matter up? of meeting up with our incoming supplies. And then I think we'll be just fine to push on for a while further. Standing by. Okay. What's up? Yes. Maybe it was just one guy. Maybe like this guy was patrolling back and forth. I suppose that's always possible. You caught my ear. I'm into it. No, nothing. Hmm. Standing by. What's there? We have okay. some inconveniences Maybe to dispose of. Maybe it was two guys. Of. Let's see here. We are still within range. Oh, maybe the headshot's just me getting cocky. Center mass. Uh, they just don't do the ant the uh, damage that I want them to, though. Okay. 
Standing by. These guys are definitely uh, coming equipped with flak jackets at the least. Ugh, that's not a very good shot. Sometimes you'll find like a weird kind of dead angle where uh, you can't hit the enemy. I always assume like it's an, an obstruction somewhere that's just not super visible to you in an isometric view. Um, and I'll often find that just like moving one square cool. to the left or right or forward or back there's uh, drastically changes the chance to hit. What's up? All right. Yes. One guy should be left. Yes. Standing by. Let's just have our guys kind of slowly moving around. If you were actually yeah. being asked to duck walk like this around in the middle of the night, this would be extremely exhausting, by the way. I cannot imagine ever thinking that Standing would be a good by. idea. Oh. Okay, he's in between us. Interesting. Also interesting that he saw us enemy. from that far we out. Must attack. Thanks, Dimitri. I appreciate your enthusiasm. I truly do. Man, he got off a lot of ammo. Comes with the territory. Thankfully, Standing he did by. not manage to hit with any of those uh, rapid fire shots that Damn. he had. Alright, we'll get up to here, drop down, put a couple of bullets into his chest. Or right next to him on the ground, at least. Make him feel scared. No more ammo. Um, I actually think that's uh, yeah, the last of his bullets. Uh, he does have a by. small grenade launcher. I'm really not wanting to have to use that against a single enemy here, though. I don't think we're going to. Okay. And was that? Cool. That's it for targets. The last of them. At least for this area. All right. A couple of keyboard shortcuts, and. Pop back in here. Awesome. We do have the loyalty to start training militia, Standing which was by. the crucial point. Sometimes you'll end up taking sectors and uh, not have the loyalty yet. I yes, expect man. we're... They mine all day for the queen. She keeps a man spy here to watch them. Okay. Uh, I expect we're probably going to run into that whenever it comes time to take, like, Cambria, for example. It's such a large city that we'll probably only gain a small percentage of loyalty from taking gotcha. one sector, and we won't be able to train any assistants right away. Name's Carl. I'm the head honcho underground. Hi, Carl. Uh, so Carl is the mine foreman of uh, the city of Chitsina. Looks like you're the boss now. Don't mind at all. I'll see how much support you got amongst the men and put them to work immediately. I want you to know that we'll be doing this for you to help speed things up. The sooner you get rid of her and bring peace and prosperity to Arulco, the better. Well, thank you, Carl. Uh... You know, every once in a while when it's quiet, I just close my eyes and pretend that she's dead and everything's peaceful again. Yeah. Okay. Carl's got a little bit of a dark side, apparently. All right. Uh, with that, let's see, there's probably there's a couple of houses back here. It's like 3 a.m. You know, let's just, uh, we'll sort out some of our sector inventory, see if we got anything good. Not really. We're all wearing flak. We don't all have a Kevlar, though, so I might as well take a steel helmet. Okay, uh, and Ira does not have a flak jacket. That worked out better than I thought. Also, Fox is totally holding on to... Um, she ended up taking the leather and Kevlar jacket, so she actually did have an extra flak jacket that she was just, like, hiding from Ira. I, I don't really know there. Um, Dimitri, we'll hand you the wire cutters as our mechanical guru. And then... It's mostly just a little bit of 9 mil ammo to distribute here. Uh, taking stock of everything, let's actually see if we can get everybody like a full mag as backup, like one mag in their weapon and then an additional magazine like that and oh, shift, right? There we go. Okay, 
So one there. Uh, we do have this jammed pistol that we've just kind of been holding on to. Uh, might end up giving this to Dimitri, considering how few rounds of ammunition he has. Iris good. Fox will be okay. And I think Bull, even with his uh, low buckshot count, uh, he still does have slugs to shoot after that point. Where are we going? Yeah, he's still got another seven of those, plus uh, the Colt Anaconda. Okay. So he should be okay. Grizzly. Get him a full mag here, actually. Easiest way to get the game to do this for us is just take out the submachine gun rounds and then we'll stack a couple of these together and feed them in. There we go. Okay, that should be okay. Um, Makarov, PPM, or PMM, um, not super concerned about. Uh, we'll probably just end up taking it. We'll give it to Bull and have him stick it in his pack. And we'll go ahead and grab a little bit of its ammo as well. Even if we don't end up using this, uh, we can shuttle it back to Tony and uh, sell it in his shop. That'll be our uh, secondary goal. And somebody that can actually convert this into mags. There we go. We'll basically do the same thing with the 9 mil ammo. He can hold on to any spares. We'll sell it if we need to and uh, maybe it'll come in handy. Other than that, it's largely just gonna be, I'm hoping a day's worth of training here in Chitsina, and then tomorrow night we'll assault the other sector. Uh, that should then get us full control of Chitsina. Uh, we'll spend a couple of days building up our militia here and then try to head back uh, to Drassen, meet up with a supply drop that's incoming, Take the rest of Drassen and then scatter like mice on a drowning ship, I think. But that's yet to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to subscribe for more videos every single day. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes. And I will catch you guys next time.